Capricorn. Hello. Welcome to SofQuest Synergy. We are here to synergize with you for the month of June 2015. I am Spence. <clears throat> I'm Hope. And we would also like to say Happy Father's Day to all you dads out there. We hope you really enjoy it. It's a great start of summer. It's Father's Day on summer solstice. I know. I hope you guys have a great day. You deserve it. Yes. And we are going to start with some general energies and talk to you a little bit about the astrology of the month and what kind of energies you're going to be navigating. And then we'll move into your soapscope reading with some tarot, med uh, medicine cards, and oracles. All right? <laughs> so we'll start right at the beginning of the month because we have a great full moon. Yeah. Yes, we do. But we also have a keyword. We do. We have a keyword for you for this month. And yes. it is prioritize. prioritize. Time to get the ducks in a row. Exactly, and, and, and mostly the prioritize is for yourself. That's true. You need to prioritize yourself this yep. month. You really do. You really do. Mind, body, spirit, it's time to go there and really ask yourself what you need to do to get yourself in alignment. We yeah. think you might be a little out of balance. Exactly. Yeah, and you but we'll explain that. that. We'll explain the energies and, and we'll explain a little more in depth with your cards. Yeah. Um, what we're looking at is the 2nd of June. We're looking at a full moon in Sagittarius. Yeah. Which is a grand fire trine with Jupiter trining Uranus. And this, the, the grand fire trine is actually working in your areas of your foundation, mm -hmm. your soul power, your home, your sexuality, your values. Um, something that will help you with this energy would be to self-meditate. Definitely take a little time every day, sit down, meditate with yourself, connect with your soul. It will help you with this energy. Yeah, because you're, you're dealing with your work a day, how you yeah. prioritize, how you get things done. And you guys are so ambitious. You are overachievers. You're the overachievers of the Zodiac. Um, you're, you're competitive. You work so hard. And it's time to start to prioritize the other parts of self. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. This month we've got a lot of energies going on. We've got Uranus in Aries. We've got the Sun, Mars, and Mercury are all in the house of Gemini in your communication. Which is good for you guys. It might lighten it up a little bit. It, that's a little more lighthearted and I think it'll, after Mercury goes direct, you'll be able to speak with a little bit more clarity. clarity. Yeah, because yeah. miscommunication might be an issue for you at the beginning of the month mm -hmm. and probably was at the end of May. Mm -hmm. um, but around it's going to be the 11th, Around the 11th, when Mercury finally goes direct, things are going to clear up. Your communication is yeah. going to improve. Definitely. Yeah. Um, Venus on the fifth. Venus is entering Leo. Now Venus is entering Leo for four months, which is so the great. goddess of love is entering Leo for four months. Sunny Leo. Nice. Yeah, optimistic Leo. So that opens up the scope of love and money. Exactly. And you guys are about that anyway. You guys are the earners. Mm -hmm. you, you're such great uh, earth sign earners. You, you do work hard and you earn money for it. And so that, I think it's going to be a good summer for you. Yeah. Yeah. I think so as well. Yeah. I'm going to be prosperous. Yeah. On the 12th, we've got Neptune going retrograde. Yeah. Hanging out. So at that time with those energies, what you're going to want to do is really start assimilating the growth that you've done in your communication and in your thoughts. You want to start putting them into action. You know, it's not like you, but take some time to daydream. Yeah. It's time to do that. You, yeah. You really should, because Neptune kind of brings that artistic, hippie kind of feeling. Yeah. And you guys aren't really normally like that, but mm -hmm. you know what? I think if you allow yourself to be a little bit more open-minded in that right brain and uh, maybe get a little artistic this summer, do something creative, I think it could really help you daydream and enjoy yourself a little more and expand yourself yeah. a little more. Use your subconscious. Your subconscious is actually a tool it's your guide. that you can use. Yeah. Feed yourself positive affirmations good, good. to get what you want using your subconscious when you're dreamy and you're in that that Neptune's you know 
la, yeah. la, 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 having a great time. Your inner child is whispering to you, listen, give it positive affirmations so that you can start manifesting what you want. Yeah. You know, definitely use your use your subconscious as Because you guys are all about, you know, building the structure of your life, right? You work hard to get everything in order, make sure that everything's running smoothly. It's like running a ship, right? You're the captain of the yeah. ship. Um, but life is so much more than that. And you guys know that too. And maybe you're hearing, hearing that call. Oh, I, I really would like to be able to stop and smell the roses occasionally. <laughs> and Neptune will help you do that. So it's a long transit and it's going to teach you as well. I think it's going to teach you a few things. It might feel confusing and weird for you guys. <laughs> it really might. But step into it a little bit. Get your, sink your toes into the grass and dream a bit. Yeah, you're going to be in Neptune retrograde through November 18th. So yeah. it's going to be hanging out a little stretch. It's going to hang out there for a little while. Yeah. Um, but on the 14th, through September 17th, Saturn is going to go into Scorpio. Back into Scorpio. And that's the work dog. That's the work dog. And Scorpio's life, death, major issues, yeah. you know, and it deep, it goes deep into the soul, into the, even into the dark night of the soul. So yeah. if there's something that you are really working on in yourself and it's been a difficult ride, this it's dipping back into Scorpio for just a just a few months and then it heads forward again into Sagittarius again which is great Jupiter expansion but it, for this retrograde it's like the last ditch effort to ask the question did you get the lesson yeah. did you learn the lesson that we've been working on here for quite a long time did yeah. you get did you get it um, so it might challenge you a bit because it is the deep dark stuff and it's time to clean out that basement Clean out that basement. Absolutely. Let's let's get it done. <laughs> Whatever that life lesson is that you've been working on, it's time to get it done. Time to get it done. Yeah. And then the 16th, we've got the new moon in Gemini. Yay! Again, communication. It is. You're going to open up a little bit more. You're going to feel a little bit more lighthearted. You might be able to, you know, have a little fun. Mm -hmm. Trust your instincts. Yeah. Balance your excitement. Yeah. And you'll but speak with more clarity. You'll have more. You'll be yeah. a little more playful Fair. too. <clears throat> exactly. So that'll be good for you in your daily life. Yeah. Bring a little bit more of. of Let that other to people it. at work carry their own weight. Yeah, you carry a lot on your shoulders. Yeah. Yeah. It's time to loosen up that that pressure. Lighten the load. Exactly. Yeah. Give yourself a little playtime. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then on the 21st, we've got a couple things going on here. 21st, Mercury passes into Neptune. No, it passes directly over Neptune. Okay, so this day we want to be careful. We want to be careful. The energy is actually on the 21st. We've got Mercury passing direct Neptune. And then we have Sun entering Cancer. Yeah. So we, this is moving in, the energy is actually moving into your relationships. Yeah, and you just want to make sure that things that you feel really confused about, things that have been foggy, things where you feel like you've got a blindfold on and you're just not sure, you just, you're just not completely sure what's going on, on that particular day is not the day to make some major decisions, no, no signing contracts no, or signing any commitments. Like, yeah, let that day pass. That's just the 21st. Yeah, you might go, oh, what's going on, you know, on that day a lot. So just pause and say, okay, you know what, I, I'm not going to make this decision today. Let me sleep on it. And I'll, how's that sound? I don't know. Give me my answer in the morning. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Of that. There you go. I'm sorry, people. I do not have a good singing voice. So <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> I think I just proved that. Anyway, but it's Father's Day too, so it'll be a good yeah. day to enjoy it. So if you're foggy and weird and confused and stuff, just you know what? Just say, you know what? I'm gonna think about that tomorrow. Yeah. Think about exactly. it in the morning, like she said. Yeah. Exactly. All right. <laughs> on the uh, actually on the twentieth, also we look like we are going to get a little bit of a passive money payout. Financial gain looks other strong. Other people's money coming in from other exactly. resources. Exactly. It could be real estate. It could be your tax money. It could be an alimony. It could be a raise that your spouse is getting that was unexpected. But it looks good. It looks yeah. strong right around the 20th. 
Financial gains for you guys, maybe. Exactly. Something could come in. <clears throat> and then on the 24th, Mars enters Cancer. Emotions. Yeah. Passionate. Passionate emotions. Exactly. Very passionate. And you guys are not totally comfortable with going into the deep emotions, but you know what? Allow that. Allow it and feel your feelings, okay? You guys need that advice. Um, you can be very rigid about certain things and um, try to embrace your inner child. I know a lot of you are sitting there going, yeah, inner child. Really? Yeah. Because it, that is actually the whispers of your soul speaking to you. Your inner child knows why you came to the planet. Yeah. And it's trying to tell you something. So listen up, you know, listen to it. Yeah. That's very good advice. Yeah. Always listen to your soul. Yeah. Your inner child. And Chiron's in the mix this month too, on the 24th as well, because Chiron's going to be retrograding for the next five months. So Chiron is the wounded healer. Chiron is the great teacher. Chiron helps us dive into our soul and understand what our soul path is. So it's going to be having that effect on you, whether you like it or not. If it's not in your comfort zone, it could be a little harder uh, to hear from Chiron and get that lesson, but it's really gonna be important for you. It's gonna heal many areas for you. Communication, relationships, yeah, uh, uh, be it personal, community, neighbor, problems, whatever, business, it's going to be relationships. You'll, you'll know which relationships need healing. Yeah, how you uh, relate body to the even. world at yeah. all. <clears throat> yeah, and your body, that's true. But yeah, healing your body right now is going to be important. Very important. You want to make sure that you are taking care you're of yourself. You're going to want to rest and recharge. Yeah. You're going to want to rest and recharge. Because you guys go hard, fast, and strong. Yeah. Like you guys are, well, I wouldn't say fast, but hard, definitely hard and strong. You guys are on the move. You're, you're achieving at all times. You guys have very high standards for yourself. And you, you don't necessarily want to stop and take a break. Um, you need to. It, Chiron's going to be working on, on that for you. It's going to remind you that you are a spirit, a soul having a human experience. So it will ask you to be mindful of self and take care of mind, body, and spirit. Yeah. Yeah. So that's an important part for uh, the month for you. He's going to hang out to teach you this lesson, I have a feeling. And for a while. Yeah. Yeah, for through sure. November, through the end of November. So So embrace it. Embrace it. Don't, don't, don't forget it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, the end of the moon, or at the end of June, <laughs> um, we've got another moon in Sagittarius and another grand fire trine. Woo! That's Venus, a lot of energy this month. Jupiter and Leo, grand fire trine. That's a lot of energy. And it's great energy. Mm. Um, I mean, it's expansiveness, it's love and money and optimism. So at the end of the month, I think, I think the last couple weeks of the month, you're going to feel better than I think you've felt in a while. And you guys have been, been going through some deep stuff, gaining real life yeah. wisdom. And we hope you've been taking those lessons on board. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you've been avoiding it or resisting it, um, you really want to allow the positive energy of this month to really jumpstart you on doing that finally. because. Saturn is asking you to do that this month. Yeah. It's going to be working on you. Yeah. Okay? So take that in. <laughs> All right. All right. We're going to jump in. We did a Kabbalistic Tree of Life spread for you. And we're going to look at your issue for the month. And the first card is the Two of Pentacles. This Two of Pentacles is about finding balance. Where there isn't balance. And for you guys, this could mean many things. There are thousands of you Capricorns out there that have many different issues. Um, you guys are usually very good with money and you know how to balance your budget and you know how to earn well. So it, this could be about money. It could be about balancing a budget, certainly. It could be about sharing the responsibilities um, of bringing in the, you know, the bacon <laughs> in your household. Um, this also could be about your self-esteem, about finding, like we said, that other part of yourself 
and getting that into balance, right? Exactly. The mind and the spirit as well. Um, if you know you've just been so bogged down with the worries and trying to prioritize, right? All the things in your day, in your work a day, in the decisions that you're having to make about every single little thing. Um, give yourself a little bit of a mental break as well, okay? Get your mental balance back. And, and then emotionally, like we said, you're going to have some emotional triggering a little bit this month. And that's not a bad thing. There's so much positive energy in the month. The emotional triggers, it's kind of like the, the emotional triggers should be safer this month. There's more positivity in the month. So take out those emotions and sit with them. Okay, it's going to help bring you a, a better balance than you've had for maybe a while since uh, we see that this is an issue for you this month. And then the, the form of the issue is taking is the Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups is really about moving forward, right? Moving on from something that you were really personally invested in, that you really did care about. That card uh, can very often mean a relationship. Um, cups are our emotion, they're our feelings, and so this is something that you have very, very strong feelings about. And as you see in this card, um, she's having to turn around and move forward because there's a new, a new opportunity here, a new experience, new feelings about something in life that you're coming upon that is going to be positive for you, that is promising for you. And this month holds so much promise in the energy that it's time. It's time for you to move forward to this promising new feeling um, and new opportunity for growth. Okay? And sometimes we do have to shut the door on certain things that have completed. The full moon at the beginning of the month says that something has come, has come to completion. And that's okay. Completing things is a good thing. It's a cycle. It's a lesson. It's, it's what we're here to do. Exactly. And everything waxes and wanes. Everything goes up and then back down and then back up and then back down. So it's, it's time for to allow for something to come to completion that needs to be. And if this is a, an emotional completion, if this is a relationship that's perhaps coming, perhaps coming to its close, uh, we're very sorry about that. But if that is the case, it you need to look forward and see that there is something on offer for you, okay? So try not to be too mournful. Take your time to deal with your emotions. If it is a case of mourning the loss of a relationship, um, the loss of something, could be a, a job, a move, anything that you might have to say goodbye to. This card can often mean goodbye about something. Uh, but, the, you know, let it be a soft goodbye, okay? And, and then move forward because this cup holds something for you that is beautiful, mm -hmm. all right? And it's going to bring you a better sense of balance. I think that there's there's been an imbalance in something. And I think that's why you're having to move on, having to move forward now to a, a on a new road, okay? So be encouraged, all right? It's a good month for that, for completions and for moving forward into something new, okay? All right, so that's good. Good for you right there, I think. All right, now your feelings, see, you've got, you've got the star helping you out. You've got the star, and the star is that hope and faith and trust. It's saying you have a guiding light. Mm -hmm. Step outside, earth sign, and look up. See what is bigger than yourself. You are so bogged down and you need to be prioritizing, yes, in your daily life, your work a day. Yes, you need to do those things. You're checking off your lists. But you need to take those moments for this balance, okay? Go outside and look up and look at the stars and see the vastness of the universe. Yeah. Okay? Open yourself up to guidance. Open yourself up. Pray. Meditate, like Hope says. Yeah. And try to have faith and belief in something that is greater, something unknown, right? The great unknown, the universe, that you're not alone. We are all in this together, all 7.4 billion of us. 
And for some of it, for some of us, the time is, is a waxing time. And for some of us, it's a waning time. Whatever it might be for you that needs to bring you back into this balance, whatever it is, it is time. It's in divine timing, okay? And the star is a healing card. It does bring healing. So if you're going through something that you've had to let go of, this is telling you that healing is going to begin now, okay? And you need to hear that. You need to know that, okay? And then your, your thoughts are on something that is a conflict. It could be a conflict within yourself, something that you're conflicted about. It could be an external conflict. Swords are also about communication, so try not to get into a fray, into uh, arguments. If you can avoid it, try, okay. Try to temper your yeah. tongue. Yeah. Don't be too don't be overly assertive. Yeah. You know. That's true. Because you guys, you know, you know what you know, you know how to do things, you know where you want to go, you know what to do, you could be like that. Um, and you're so competitive and you're so, um, you know, you're such an achiever. Um, so when you get stressed out and you're trying to balance everything, you can be very A-type, right? You can say, well, you do this and you do this and bossy, boss, boss. Which is actually a good thing. Like, we totally need you. Like, a lot of stuff on this planet would not get done without you. <laughs> and we know this. Props to you for it. We appreciate it. Um, just don't let it get, get involve you in arguments that are unnecessary. The energy of the month is too good. Yeah. Okay? So, instead, um, just decide to lay the sword down. If you're going to... These moments may arise in the month. That's what this card may say. So if it does, step outside. Okay? You guys are loners very often. So where uh, another sign might need to talk to somebody and get counsel about it, you need to go outside. Step outside and take a breath. Okay? And med or meditate. Sit in the grass. Sit under a tree. Get back to nature. You're Ground sure. yourself. Yeah. And take that time so that you don't get into these... These petty arguments, these you know worrisome, troublesome kind of conflicts. Okay, yeah, I think that you guys want to avoid that if you can. If you do have to get into conversations with people, try to communicate in the most loving way possible. Use your temper. Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely good advice. That's great advice. Okay, here's what you know about yourself this month: the wheel of fortune. The tides are turning, my friend. Okay, Capricorn. Did you need to hear that? I have a feeling you needed to hear that. The tide is turning. The wheel has shifted. It's coming around, okay? It's moving, the, t the time clock, the wheel of fortune is changing. So if you've been going through things that have been really difficult and you're having to say goodbye to something or someone, times are changing. And I think for you, the new moon in Gemini is going to lighten your heart. And it's going to help you talk to someone. So don't be too much of a loner during that new moon. Um, I think that's, and for the rest of the month, the second half of June, it's time to open up a little bit. It is. It's time to open up a little bit. Do your meditation, mind, body, spirit. Do your deep breathing, look up at the yeah. stars, take some time for yourself. Prioritize yourself and your needs, okay? What you need. Prioritize yourself. And that way, this change can happen for you because it's time. It's time for change. It's necessary. And I think it will happen. So let it happen <coughs> and be a blessing, okay? Instead of it being so good thing yeah. for you okay because realize that there is a blessing in it this is a blessed time of change it's the divine timing okay all right here's what you need to know about yourself this month Capricorn you got the king of Pentacles nice this is you That's male nice. or female this is saying this month is about finding yourself confidence again and anybody that knows you would probably say what do you mean 
they're incredibly self-confident. <laughs> they exude. But, but you know, <coughs> maybe inside, down deep, you've been dealing with stuff nobody knows about. Like, you've had a lot on your plate. Here's what's underlying, the underlying energy that's been, that's going to fill, you know, fil be filtering throughout the month, the Seven of Cups. Oh. This is having a lot okay. on your plate. It has many meanings. It can mean a lot of scattered thinking. It can mean a lot of scattered emotions. It can mean being in a fog, right? She's like... Her head's above the mist and she can't quite see what's going on. And that's Neptune too. It's keeping you maybe a little bit confused, but it's also having a lot of things on your plate, a lot of choices, and a lot of things that you care about that you don't want to spill out. So it can, there's also another meaning of this card and considering the placement on the table where it is, it's between you trying to balance and you needing to say to leave something behind. Yeah. <clears throat> I hate to tell you, but it can. This can mean kind of fooling somebody, maybe me fooling around, playing in the field. If this is about the end of a relationship, can I do a cameo? Come on. Up. This. Oh, here's Puppy Muffin. Okay. Here's she you. wants to say hi and blow you a kiss. You yeah. might need it. Here's a Puppy Muffin kiss She's, She for feels you. the energy. She's saying, there you go. Mwah. All right, Capricorn. <laughs> if this is, is about cheating, I'm sorry to say. If it is, um, it is one of the meanings of this card. And with the cards we're seeing on the table, if, if there is something going on, if there's been some infidelity and you are having to move forward from that we're very very sorry and we really do empathize with you so take some time for yourself and and really care for yourself this month okay Chiron that wounded healer is going to bring you healing you have help whether you're aware of it or not you do you have help the universe has got your back and it's telling you that you've got this cup, this holy grail, this blessing before you. And even though it may be hard for you to see right now in this mist, it's there. Okay? And it's time. It's time for you guys to move forward from it. So if that's happening for some of you Capricorns out there, we ju I just wanted to mention it because yeah. It needs to be said. It's on the table, and uh, we're seeing it. So if that's happening for some of you, we are, we're very sorry. If it is, you're probably aware of it. If, if, you, if you're sitting there going, well, that, I, don't, I don't know that. That's not happening in my family. And not, that's oh, not me. Yeah. Then yeah. it's not you, okay? It's not you. There's many Capricorns. There's thousands of you out there, maybe millions. Yeah. So it's not for everybody. Please, this is a general reading. We're just saying that is one of the meanings of the card, and with the other placements here on the table that could be an issue so we wanted to address it and let you know that you are going to find your balance again okay there is something ahead of you that looks beautiful for you and you will find it especially at the end of the month you've got the energy and optimism happening with these grand fire trines optimism yeah okay try to think positive okay don't get too down don't be too solitary you guys are such loners don't lock yourself in a room and cry, cry all day. Don't do that, okay? Get outside of the sun and enjoy your summer. Prioritize yourself to enjoy your life again, okay? There you go. Now, what you have working for you this month is justice. And the justice card can mean many things. It can mean that th legal things can go in your favor. It can mean the karmic justice, a karmic uh, cycle has been completed, karma paid, mm -hmm. which is really good. And it also can mean that fairness is at play here. There will be fair play. Um, and it also brings about balance. Justice is also very, very much, it's the scales, it's balance. So it is another reminder for you, if you haven't taken that in yet, please take a deep breath right now and take that in. It is really time for you to get back to your whole self, okay? Mind, body, 
and spirit healing. That's what's going to bring you balance. Okay? All right, but that's working for you this month. Justice, that's a beautiful card. It's a major arcana card, so it's a big message, and it's saying you've got justice and the star and the wheel of fortune telling you divine timing too. Three trumps on this table, three, the magic number of manifestation, it's time. It's time for a wave of change. So have take heart, have hope, have faith, okay? It's going to get better, it's going to be okay, it's going to be good. All right? We want to encourage you. It's there. It's there. All right. So your challenge is not to live here in the Eight of Swords, right? Right. Oh, no. Don't yeah. live in the Eight of Swords. Don't live there. It's a self-imposed Self prison. Exactly. Self-imposed. Yeah. And it's all those thoughts. It's the exactly. If you're in manifestation time, then you want to have positive affirmations. Yeah. You want to feed your subconscious positive thoughts, get out of your own self-imposed hell, yeah, and and realize, recognize the pattern. That's right. So that you can get to the point where when you start to go there, you can say, oh, wait a minute, no, nope. grab a hold of it, cancel that, and throw it away. You're doing Done. yourself a disservice. You are. Because even if someone wronged you, going over it and over it and over, over it, it and over it, it is you wronging yourself. Exactly. You're replaying the pain. You're replaying the trauma. Exactly. It's already happened. It's in the over past. Over and over. Yeah. Don't replay it over and over and over again. If somebody hurt you, that's on them. That's right. They're the ones that did it wrong. And if you happen to be the one that's maybe a little bit of a player, and this is you, mm -hmm. and you're stepping out on somebody, mm -hmm. you feel guilty about it? Yeah. You know what? There's only one cure for that. Justice, baby. It's time to talk truth, deal with it, yep. handle it, know, make things just again, okay? But whoever you are and whatever, for whatever reason you're in this state, rip that blindfold off, knock those swords down. You are not bound. You can walk right out of it, exactly. okay? Walk right out of it into summer. Yeah. It's beautiful and sunny out there, okay? Yes. Yes. All right. And what we want to give you as a piece of advice is this. It's all, it's all saying the same thing. Please don't cry over things that you have spent 10,000 tears crying over already. Okay? Those cups are spilled. Take reverence. Pay honor to what was past. And then turn around and see those two cups yeah. behind you. Exactly. See them. They're there. They're there for the, mm -hmm. they're ripe for the picking, and it's time. It is really time for that to happen. This is about your destiny, your fate. Yeah. It's time, okay? And then we want to say for, the, for your final sort of karmic lesson that you want to be mindful of all month, this is what you're trying to get to. This is what you're trying to learn. You have to make the decision. Yeah. You cannot go any longer blindfolded. Mm -hmm. You got two blindfolds on here. Mm -hmm. You cannot go any longer balancing and weighing it out. Balancing and weighing it out. It is you, decision time. You thought about it long enough. And, and you know what? Karmic. We all do it. You know, don't feel bad for for being in trauma or don't feel bad for being in fear or don't feel bad for you know, grieving. We all go through it. We all have to. And it's not easy for any one of 7.4 of us, billion of us on the planet. But you obviously needed to hear it. You needed to hear this message that it's time. Okay? You've done it long enough and you've weighed it all out. You've thought about it over and over again. And there's a decision that needs to be made here that is going to bless your life. Not making the decision is living in this state mm -hmm. and it sucks you don't want to stay there okay so please take you know karma paid you know your karma's paid so rip the blindfold off make the decision to move forward yep okay all right hope scott's got this. Okay. wrap it up message for you a good oracle whole package message what we like to do is we, we like to lay out the tarot and then we like to get confirmation from 
the oracles and the medicine cards just to make sure that we do have the message that you need to hear from Spirit today. The message that we got, I'm going to actually start with with one of the oracle cards and the, or, the oracle card is home. Yeah. And it says your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants. Okay. And, I, and it really kind of correlates with the message that the tarot has given. That's true. You know, that's why I wanted to start with this oracle. It's improving. Okay. There is going to be a change. There is going to be a move. You know, if there's negative energy in your home, um, it's extraordinarily empowering to walk through your home and speak out loud that you will ref you refuse to allow any more negative energy in your home. Say it out loud. Any negative energy, get out. You know. Exactly. We, you know, you sage. This is just sage. You burn sage, and the the smoke of the sage cleanses and clears energy. It helps it to dissipate and balances it out. So maybe try some of that as well. And, you know, pay attention to diet. Pay attention to exercise. Get outside. Don't isolate yourself, okay? And your home will feel better. Your energy will change. Exactly. Exactly. And then for your medicine card, we've, we've chosen Jaguar. Jaguars are very sleek. Yeah. Sexy. <laughs> they really are. Gorgeous little keys. You just want to pet them while they purr. But a jaguar is about your integrity. It really is. I mean, look at this card. I don't know if you can see it, but that jaguar is looking into your soul and questioning your integrity. With. Go ahead. You know, when people get into situations where a relationship has just gone sour, yeah, and you're not bringing out the best in each other anymore, you're bringing out the worst in each other, you know, don't betray yourself. Exactly. Okay? Exactly. Remember who you are. Yeah. Look at yourself. Connect with yourself. Know who you are. Remember that. That's right. You have integrity. You are impeccable. And you need to remind yourself of this. You had to go through the lessons. It is a lesson that you had to learn. It's a painful lesson. A Jaguars, they can cause a lot of pain. Absolutely. So it's not an easy lesson, but that's what humans are here for. That's why we chose a human form. We learn painful lessons, but that's what we're here for. We're here to learn these lessons so that we can move forward in love. And Saturn is telling you it's time. It's yeah. his last pass for, gosh, a long while. And so he wants to make sure you got that lesson. Chiron is here trying to heal you from it. Yeah. Whatever is happening in your life, to the ones that we're speaking to about this situation, okay? For the rest of you that are all happy family, get out this summer and have fun. Yeah. <laughs> get Enjoy your joy and grow together if you know. coupled up. And, exactly. You know? But for those of you that are really going through a really hard, painful time, yeah. hope is right. It, that, it's, it's time to yeah, really do the work. It's the time. It's your destiny. Yeah. And another oracle card that we have is the Sun Goddess. Oh, that's good. Brilliant. I celebrate each sunrise and recognize the healing energies of the sun. Tomorrow's another day. Exactly. Every day you wake up, it's a blessing. It's a gift. People can choose to open their door and see the worst in everything. Yeah. Or they can choose to open the door and see the best in everything. It is your choice. Every morning you wake up, you have that choice. That's right. If you're going to start healing, you really need to start changing your energy and yeah. making those choices to change your energy. And it could be something as simple as looking at the green in a tree or the green in the grass and being grateful for that. That's and just start recognizing the good things that are happening in your life and around your life and in your world and, and cherishing those. Yeah, you're an earth sign, you're very sensual and you know how to 
engage your senses in an incredible way. You use your sight, smell, taste, touch, and hearing. So if you've forgotten to stop and smell the roses and taste and touch, do that. Start there, okay? Get in touch with yourself. Exactly. And our final oracle card for you today for the month of June is Moon Cycles. And we have some really good moon cycles. Okay? Yeah. We've got two grand fire. <laughs> she wants to make sure you get the message. I know. <laughs> two grand fire trines. Um, Archangel Haniel. Mm -hmm. Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles. And look at it's got three moons. <laughs> grand fire trine. It's saying now's the time. It really is. It is. It is time. June is a huge change agent month for you. And it it's, is. I think when you look back on it, maybe by the end of the year, you're going to see that you needed to do this. Whatever it is, whatever this is for you, you needed to do it in June. Now, when I did pull the moon cycle card, the another card did jump out with it. And I want to share it with you because it says you are safe. You are safe. It says, Archangel Michael, I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, and home. So you are safe. You just need to know this. The, the universe is watching. They're, they're, the archangels are watching over you. Keeping you protected. Safe. And be, you are being protected. Yeah. M Michael's the warrior, you know. Yeah, he is. He's, 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 got, he's got it going on, so if he's watching over you, that's a good thing. And if by any chance you are in an unsafe situation, for any reason, please make a phone call and get help. Don't wait any anymore. No. Just don't. You can't. This girl is on a tightrope over the ocean. Don't stay here exactly. more. Just for if there's any of you, even if there's only one person out there that we're speaking to who might be in an unsafe situation, you are safe now to, to take a step and move forward. The okay. energies, the universe, the archangels, they're behind you. Yeah. They're behind you. Make the decision. Now, of course, this is just a general. A general. It's nothing specific to anybody. Thousands of Capricorns there's out thousands there. There's thousands of Capricorns <laughs> out there. If you want a better, more specific, reading for you where we might be able to give you some more tools you. You, you know feel free to reach out to us you can email us at selfquest at yahoo.com or visit our website selfquest.com um, we will be happy to to do a personal reading for you absolutely absolutely and as always we would like to leave you with three words yes. kindness reverence and gratitude if you live with these three things every single day you take the moment to be kind, to be reverent, and to have gratitude. Every day is a meaningful and good day. You, you take your lessons on board and you're grateful. And you say, wow, what a life. Yeah. <laughs> really, if you live in those three words, you will change your energies. Mm -hmm. And you will start having a positive life because like attracts like. Mm -hmm. So kindness, reverence, and gratitude. So true. We love you, Capricorn. Love you. See you next month. Thanks.